Okay, we're going to flash one of these Home Awesome plugs with Pasmoda. And I've taken a Raspberry Pi and put in Raspbian on it and went to the GitHub repository for Tuya Convert. To use the name of the chip inside the device. And let's list the files here after we have it installed. And we want to run a command called start flash.sh. And it says read this carefully. And it goes on to tell you that you can foul stuff up. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And now what it's doing is it is setting up a hotspot uh, called vrtrust.flash and what you're supposed to do is go to your phone or iPad or something like that and connect to that network and I'm doing that as I speak right here I just connected to that network on my iPhone I know you can't see it now you go to the device itself which is plugged in the wall Hold the button on the side for five seconds until it starts flashing, and then you hit enter. And then what it's going to do is it's going to search for the device, and as soon as it finds it, it will begin to write the flash to the device. So it takes just a second here. We'll probably go through another ten dots or so before it finds it. And... Every once in a while I hear a click on the device here, so I believe that it has been found on the network. So it should start any second here now. There's the click. And here it goes. So we're currently writing the flash to the device. And there is one more step after this to actually install Tasmoda onto the device. It looks like we're nearing the end here. Maybe. There it is. That's the end of it. Now, if you look here, it says the basic build of Sonoff Tasmoda is already included in this repository. So, to install Tasmoda onto the device, you want to copy this command right here, this curl command, and then you want to paste it and hit enter, and then the device will reboot. And when it reboots, it will reboot with Tasmoda. So that's it. Now what we're going to do is find our Sonoff device since we just flashed it. And if you'll notice, there's a uh, AP hotspot called Sonoff 6852. We're going to connect to that. And there it is right there. So now what we need to do is set up our network name, SSID, and then our password. And then connect to it. We have to scroll down and save that. And then it will connect to it. Okay, now that the sun off is uh, connected to your primary network, you have to find it. It's always called Expressive IF. I have a couple of them on here. If you look real close, but this is the one that we want. I found this with a program called LandScan on my Mac. Another good program is called Fing for your iPhone or your Android. So let's just minimize this here. That's the, the address, 192.168.2030 that I found it on. And what we're going to do is configure it now. And here's the configure module. So what we've got to do is first turn this into a Sonoff generic. And we're going to save it. And while it's rebooting, this is how we configure it. Uh, PWM is GPIO00. GPIO02 is PWM2. 
QPI05, this PWM3. There's a button on 13 that's inverted and a relay on one. So let's see if we're rebooted now. We should be here in just a second. Takes a second. Sometimes you gotta goose it the first time you do it. There we go. Okay, so now let's go configure this, the module. And we said it was PWM1 here, and then on GPIO2 it was PWM2. On GPIO5 it was PWM3. On 13 we had a button that was inverted. And then on 15 we had a relay 1. And let's save that. And then when the page comes back here, it will be configured for this plug. And again, it takes just a second for it to reboot or a moment. And I'm looking at the device and it did just reboot. So here it comes. It's starting to open again. And here it is. There are two controls. You might be able to hear the click here. Probably not, but that turned that on. This button turns the LED ring on. And there it goes. Finally it responded. I'm on an MQTT server. Or, or actually I'm not on an MQTT server. That was just going over HTTP because I haven't yet configured my MQTT server. So what I would need to do is put my address of my MQTT server in here and then we could give this a unique name like Tuya Plug 3 because I already have Tuya Plug and Tuya Plug 2. So I didn't put the MQTT server in there but that's how it functions. Uh, you have a control page where you can have a slider that controls the dimmer on the lights and then I'll show you later how you can configure it to uh, let's brighten it up there yep it's working that's the uh, turning the outlet on itself and I'll show you later how you can configure the color okay now I'm going to show you how to configure your plug for home assistant and first you have to navigate to the home assistant dot home assistant directory and open up your configuration.yaml file and this is the major heading like this says nest these fall under lights and I suppose they could be a switch too but I haven't configured as lights because it, one of them is an LED so I've set my plug up I've decided to name it bathroom outlet LED and here's the state topic for MQTT it's to you plug two and then power to is what would turn it on or off with the command topic here. So I'll list this code. As a matter of fact, I have this code listed on my blog page already, which I will try to add to the um, YouTube description below. So I've set this command right here, and it tells you the brightness uh, state topic, the dimmer, and you can also set the color. And let's, and then uh, there's one more thing here. This is for the actual outlet. This turns the 110 volts on and off. This turns the LED ring on and off. So let's take a look at the outlet here and let's look at what that all looks like in Home Assistant. Like right here, I have the bathroom LED on, and here's the pallet wheel. I can set it to any color that I desire and I kind of like the dark blue up here and you can adjust the brightness as well too and if you turn it off then the palette display goes away so and then over here the same outlet this is the 110 volt control for the outlet so I set mine up with two different controls one for the LED and one for the outlet you can put them together but it's just a little bit clunky. And here's what it looks like. Uh, both of them are on. Let's go back over here, shut them both off. And you can see that 
even the HTTP page works in conjunction with the Home Assistant MQTT control. And if you open the console here, you can see that I have been turning the plug on and off power one, or I've been turning the LED off power two, on and off. So uh, it's a pretty neat little configuration here where you have independent control of the light and the outlet itself. You might want to do it a different way. This is the way that appeals to me. And finally, here we are in action. Alexa, turn on bedroom outlet. Okay. Did you hear the click? Alexa, turn off bedroom outlet. Okay. Alexa, turn on bedroom outlet LED. Okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom outlet LED.